Hello and welcome. Today we're gonna to make this wonderful chain here. And of course we start with making a new document. We're gonna need the cube and we're gonna add a circle. Going into edit mode, we're gonna select these two and we're gonna scale it. Next we're going into the data tab and go to geometry. We're gonna to wonderfully to increase the bevel a bit. There we go, this looks good. Maybe a little bit less. And there we go, we already have the first thing. Next up, we're gonna to wanna to go to object and then we're gonna go to convert and make it into a mesh. There we go, now we have a mesh. Let's give it a wonderful texture. Let's go and make a new one. First up, let's make it a little bit darker. Give it a hit of blue also. Make it maybe on. And let's make it wonderful metallic. And let's make the roughness a little bit more. And I think it's a little bit too much blue. So let's just go a little bit back. This is looking decent. Maybe a little bit more shiny because we want a wonderful new wonderful chain part thing let's look like that it's okay but of course you can you can change it however you want we're gonna want to duplicate this one and then we're gonna rotate it wonderfully 90 degrees but not by this angle we're gonna make it of course on the right axis we're gonna move this one a little bit so they're barely touching we're gonna select them and join with Control uh, J of course I have not my wonderful uh, numpad but uh, it's Control join so J now we have this wonderful thing two of them but of course we want to make a whole chain so first up we are going to move this thing a little bit so the 3d cursor is at the end or around the end there we go we're gonna right click make set origin to the 3d cursor and now it's on well the back wonderful next up we're gonna add another curve make it a path and we make the same here move it to the end if i could see where the thing is wonderful let's go and make it there that's looking good and also set the origin to the 3d cursor perfect now we're gonna do some adjustments to that we're gonna add a modifier we're gonna add an array look at that we have an array but of course we want to fit it by the curve so let's make this so it's now always the same length as the curve but uh, it's a little bit too far away because they're not intersecting so let's move it a little bit closer so they are now there uh, yeah, now joined together. Wonderful. Let's make another modification. We're gonna make a curve one. We're gonna make you fit the curve, the numps path. And now, if you go and take a wonderful path and go into edit, and then move this thing around, we can see new, oh, new appearing. Look at that. We can now go around to make this one perfect. Make it in a perfect spiral. And now we have an unlimited chain, which you can move, animate, or do whatever you please with that. I hope you like it, and let's see us next time.